I uh, I wanted to like this movie. We waited two years for this. I really, really wanted to like this movie. Um, it felt like two different movies in one. It felt like the direction, they had no direction. Or the director had an idea. And maybe the suits at Fox kind of got, got in the way. A la Zack Snyder's... Uh, his um his his situation with a uh, BVS, uh, or Justice League rather, so uh, I'm not a fan of the agenda. And when I say agenda, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not a fan of the agenda that's being pushed and rammed down everybody's throats, especially to these young kids out here. Uh, so I was disappointed when I went to go see this last night with my daughter, and there was the agenda, right smack dab in in our faces, and I'm just like, in an X Men movie not cool i was not ready i was not prepared for that i was not happy with that and uh i, I try not to let it ruin the whole movie experience but you know i want the first clue was there's playing an episode a repeat episode of buffy the vampire slayer when the friend kissed the other girl and i was like please don't tell me they're gonna throw this in here and sure enough with uh danny and wolf wolf spain uh, that that love story was so not necessary, not needed at all. Um, it's it's sad that you know these companies feel compelled to have to cater to certain uh, ideologies and and uh, rhetorics and narratives, and, and therefore you're gonna lose your audience. You're gonna I definitely lost me. So um, but there was a wasted potential in this particular movie um even with the fox merger with being absorbed into into uh to disney um i'll, I'll say this i liked the connection with mr sinister because of the xx sx corporation uh we knew he was like you know watching in, in the clouds per se uh i liked how they referenced the lab in mexico with logan so if you remember logan it was a facility in Mexico where the kids kind of broke out of that same facility that was ran by the SX, SX Corporation. I like that part. Um, so basically what we have is a, a, a we have a, a psionic team. Uh, Danny has the, basically has Jean Grey like esque powers and she, you know, she can get inside your head and basically reveal your worst fears and nightmares and make you relive it all over again. She's pretty powerful. She can't control majority of her powers. So in the beginning, she caused the psionic a attack on her village or her native people uh the indian reservation uh so the demon bear is hinted in the very beginning she wakes up in the facility headed by uh doc the doctor played by sonia braga i think i forget the name old girl from queen of the south and she's in a facility she's being tested and monitored um the doctor's giving instructions on what to do with her and, uh eventually from the top down it comes down she needs to be executed we 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 meet the other mutants uh iliana i liked her the most um we got the kentucky guy he's kentucky minor son of a kentucky minor we get the brazilian rich kid roberto and then we get wolf spain played by uh old girl from game of thrones and then am i missing somebody whatever um so they just they slowly discovered that they're not be able, they're not going to be able to leave um the doctor has force field powers she's a mutant um okay so danny through danny we get to learn everyone's kind of backstory so roberto his powers is he turns into a human inferno and if he gets too excited he bursts into flame he killed his girlfriend which is why his family sent him, sent him to brazil to the facility um same thing with kenny the, the son of the kentucky miner he has like a I don't know he turns into static static force projection he could run through stuff fly through stuff he became claustrophobic in the mind with his father and killed basically his father and their entire crew and then Ileana as it was a victim of abuse from a bunch of uh what we want to say like babadooks or slender men and she would she created a purgatory for herself to teleport in to for safety she also can uh turn her body into like a uh a, a, a weapon a living weapon with a with the hand armored hand and the sword uh i know in a comic she can go full armor she did she just it was just her right arm and, and the sword 
Uh, and then Danny turns into a wolf. Danny's backstory, not Danny, but um, Wolfsbane. Wolfsbane backstory, she's abused by a Catholic priest. She was branded with a W on her back. So and when Danny shows up, they all kind of relive their nightmare experiences all over again through Danny. Because Danny can't control her powers. So they all realize that they're being used and harnessed. Um, Wolfsbane saves Danny from being put down by the doctor so the kids all kind of rallied together and had to fight their all fight off their demons again i think the probably the most scariest part was iliana's uh the the, the slender men the babadooks uh and her and her vision they, they came to life and were trying to uh, uh, kill the kids or attack iliana and then the kids and they had they all had to kind of fight them off so then they all so Ileana re-taps into herself because she's paralyzed with fear. She no longer becomes afraid. She kills all the Babadooks. Um, they all rally to attack the doctor. The doctor puts them in force field projections, force bubbles. And then Danny blacks, blanks out and, and the demon bear shows up. And then the demon bear ends up killing the doctor. Then attack, attempts, to, attends, attempts to kill the, the kids. Uh, Wolfsbane tries to wake her up out of her trance, but it's in, in, in her in her unconscious state. She sees her father again. Uh, her father tells her it's not, it wasn't her fault, and that she's bigger than a demon bear. Because it starts off in, in the beginning of the narration of an old uh, Indian folklore tale about the two demon bears or two two bears. One's good, one's bad. Depends on what, which one you feed is it becomes a stronger one. Because in the beginning, the father tucked Danny away in a, in a hollowed out tree while the demon bear destroyed the village and killed her father so he says it's not your fault you're bigger than the, you're bigger than the bears and she wakes up out of her trance she calms the bear down tells the bear you have to go to sleep now wasted potential so then they with the, the doctor being dead there's no forced dome over the school and they're free to, to end their travels wasted potential wasted potential uh, so no more fox x-men crap um hopefully no more agendas but of course it's it's, it's only going to get worse from here on out that was my review of uh, the new mutants um maybe five years ago this would have been a good movie to put out i think they should have nixed the love story that was so not necessary but maybe five six years ago this would have been a good start to introducing mr sinister and that a whole set of mutants over there on, on that side of things but we didn't get it it is what it is. You guys have a good one. Peace.